Very recently, id Software officially released Vulkan support for Doom, and if you want to check out the benefits of Vulkan in Doom, there is a video linked in the description below this video by Paul as he takes a look at the differences. It does bring significant performance gains, but as I said, check out that video if you haven't already seen it. However, the lead programmer Billy Khan had some things to say, as well as the senior engine programmer Gene Joffrey. And basically they spoke about the implementation of asynchronous compute and compute in general. And Billy Khan said, quote, yes, async compute will be extensively used on the, in the PC Vulkan version running on AMD hardware. Vulkan allows us to finally code much more to the metal. The thick driver layer is eliminated with Vulkan, which will give significant performance improvements that were not achievable on OpenGL or DX. As for Gene Joffrey, he had to say, quote, when looking at GPU performance, something that becomes quite obvious right away is that some rendering passes barely use compute units. Shadow map rendering, as an example, is typically bottlenecked by fixed pipeline processing. Egrasturation. Egrasturization, excuse me, bit of a tongue twister there. And memory bandwidth rather than raw compute performance. This means when rendering your shadow maps, if nothing is running in parallel, you're effectively wasting a lot of GPU power. Even geometry passes more intensive shading computations will potentially not be able to consistently max out the compute units for numerous reasons related to the internal graphics pipeline. Whenever this occurs, async compute shaders can leverage those unused compute units for other tasks. This is the approach we took with Doom. Our post-processing and tone mapping, for instance, run in parallel with a significant part of the graphics work. This is a good example of a situation where just scheduling your work differently across the graphics and AMD compute queues can result in multi-MS gains. It's just one example, but generally speaking, async compute is a great tool to get most out of the GPU. Whenever it's possible to overlap some memory intensive work with some compute intensive tasks, there's an opportunity for performance gains. We use async compute just the same way on both consoles. There are some hardware differences when it comes to the number of available queues, but with the way we're scheduling our compute tasks, that wasn't actually all that important. What's really interesting, however, is that Billy Khan actually said that using compute and async compute will actually be more extensively used for id Tech 6 games in the future and that more developers will let us use these techniques as they discover the advantages they bring to the table. As I said, Vulkan API is a really interesting API and you know, is a very strong contender against DX and of course OpenGL as well and for no the moment id Software is the only big developer who are openly supporting the Vulkan API where many are of course focused on DX12 but of course even DX12 support isn't widely embraced just yet, so while DX12 do does have a bit of a lead, uh, the fact that only one big developer is supporting Vulkan, you know, it's not great, but it's a big start that it's id, you know, it's this company that are known for the technology. And given that the DX12 support isn't wide, super wide at least, it's not really that far for them to go. But what he had to say is, quote, The time is now, really. Doom is already a clear example where async compute, when used properly, can make drastic enhancements to the performance and look of a game. Going forward, compute and async compute will be used even more extensively for id Tech 6. It is almost certain that more developers will take advantage of compute and async compute as they discover how to effectively use it in their games. And he's right, you know, it's not to say DX12 in itself doesn't also have potential, it very much does, and it in itself is underutilised, but... It's going to be good, I think, to have two really strong contenders on the market in the forms of Vulkan and DX12. And of course, Vulkan will give the opportunity to perhaps not be locked to Windows 10, unlike with DX12 as well. And, um, you know, it are known for their technology. They're known for being sort of the sort of front runners in this sort of regard. You know, back in the day, they were very much at the leader of the pack with the original Doom and the technology they pulled off there was amazing. And they're putting their sort of cart behind this particular horse which should show a lot for the potential of Vulcan. As always though, thank you very much for watching guys, I'll see you next time.